call the July 28th, 2020 meeting of the Caneo Recreation and Park District Board uh, to order for a special meeting. And I've asked our Director Holt to lead us in the pledge. Thank you. Please join me. Behind you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Director Holt. Roll call, please. Director Lang. Present. Director Nichols. Yes. Director Holt. Here. Director Hopper. Yes. Director Cussler. Yeah. Very good. All members present. Quorum. Item three, items from the public. We have any public, John, online? Uh, no, sir. Okay, we're moving on to item four, approval of the agenda, and I'd entertain a motion at this time. I'll make approval of the agenda. Thank you, Director Huffler. Do we have a second? Director Holt? Um, any comments or questions associated with the agenda? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? abstentions none we're going on to item five new items 5a termination of quarter bill lease between the california department of transportation caltrans and caneo recreation and park district for approximately six acres of land west of the 23 freeway between page lane and jance road staff please yes thank you chair lang and members of the board uh this is the one and only item on the agenda. We do have uh, our council on the line as well. Mr. Sellers is, is uh, call, calling us in remotely, so he's there if we have any questions for Mr. Sellers. But this is uh, a follow-up to the item that we did have a closed session uh, discussion about just at our last meeting. And here is the open session uh, proposed uh, action and resolution in front of you. Uh, in terms of a very quick history, uh, a Porter Bill lease from Caltrans is a standard form that they offer to uh, entities, typically public agencies that may want to use uh, excess freeway uh, land that they don't have a current need for, but they may want in the future. Uh, they offer it to agencies to allow them to use it for park purposes. Uh, this way the uh, agency can offer something available to the public while Caltrans still owns the property in the event that it does need to widen its uh, freeways. Um, in 1976, uh, CRPD and Caltrans entered into a Porterbill lease for approximately, and we have in here six acres, um, the Caltrans guys were really nice and actually did the calc out and it's technically about 8.4 acres. So they're a little sharper than uh, we are in terms of the specificity, but it's about 8.4 acres of property that runs along the, um, the west side of the 23 freeway between Page Lane and Jantz Road. Um, for those listening in, it is uh, directly across the freeway from Canal Creek South, uh, the big soccer fields. Uh, that 50 year lease that we entered into in 76 would expire by its own terms in just six years. However, uh, we became aware that we in fact still had um, this lease active, uh, or at least we had been paying our uh, annual $100 fee uh, and uh, came to realize we did not need it for park purposes based on uh, an El Nino storm that I'm now going to cover. In 1998, there was a very large uh, series of storms and I think cumulatively uh, it became a dis disaster declaration in 98. And that section of the creek experienced very high storm waters um, from lore, people that actually were here at the district at the time recall uh, the specifics of this particular creek washout involved an oak tree falling into uh, the creek bed at the time, causing the stream to have to move around to get around this big oak tree that fell into the creek. The creek moved its banks and, and basically um, cut the slope of the creek bed 
all the way up to and beneath the existing Caltrans fence separating the freeway from the private land. And in so doing, the creek uh, completely washed out the trail, a, a decent section of the trail that once existed um, for um, you know, nearly five years or just a little over five years, staff um, repaired all of the other washouts throughout the entire district that were subject to that storm. So we had washouts all over the entire system. Uh, that one remained and it just so happened at the time that FEMA was saying, come on CRPD, let's close out all this open stuff. We got this one trail thing you haven't dealt with. Um, the uh, District had started working at Canal Creek South to do the soccer fields and baseball field. What happened then was the um, Cal OES, CRPD, and FEMA agreed that the trail on the west side of the 23 freeway through this Caltrans property could be relocated because it would essentially serve the same intent and run along the east side of the 23 freeway through the Canal Creek South property. Uh, with that, CRPD was able to um, move the trail and close out our FEMA and Cal State OES claims and complete the trail. So those of uh, you, the public that are familiar with um, the trail, it is basically the dirt path that runs right alongside the city's bikeway that can, got constructed from uh, underneath the 23 freeway and page all the way up to the library um, through Canal Creek South. So um, with that and the intent to have, no longer have the uh, park needed, there's really not a purpose for us to continue to uh, hold on to the property. Now being a, a good fellow public agency and returning the property to Caltrans, we do plan to have the trash cleaned up and you know um, pick up all the, the debris and, and um, litter that has accumulated there over the years. Uh, looking closely at the parcel maps, we will also reach out to the Watershed Protection District, Caltrans itself, as well as uh, the Temple. And uh, because each of those property owners does have some accumulation of debris and trash on their property along this creek stretch. And when that is completed, our intent and, and repairing the holes in the fence, that's actually on us as well. Um, it'll, it will return the property to Caltrans and provide notice of termination and then it will uh, the property will the lease will terminate and then Caltrans would would have its property to do with what it would like to do. So with that staff's recommendation is that the board approve the resolution determining that the uh, property subject to this Porterville lease agreement is no longer used or needed for park purposes that we've replaced the trail um, on the other side of the 23 freeway and that um, we remove the litter and uh, prior to returning it to Caltrans. With that, I'm available for questions. Thank you, Mr. General Manager. Are there any questions by Director Holt? No, um, this probably doesn't apply exactly to what we're really talking about, but when you took the tour, there are homeless encampments along there, correct? Yes. I, I had somebody call me and say, the homeless are heading toward Canaco Creek South, or, you know, and they saw a, 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 a large group, I guess, of people uh, late in the day walking up there, and I presume that's where they were going. Mm. Interesting. That's right. That was Okay, any other question. questions? Yes, Director Huffer. I just had a curiosity. Do you have an approximation as to what, what it's going to cost the district for the cleanup and repairs that you mentioned? Uh, yeah, so right now we have an estimate from waste management for 6000 to clean up the waste, the, the litter that is on our property or the property that we've been controlling. It doesn't include the property between the fence and the freeway. There's a substantial amount of litter there. So we would approach Caltrans and say, hey, will you work with us so that we do it together? And then it doesn't include the section of litter and debris on the temple property or on the watershed protection district property. So uh, the bill will be higher, assuming we get everybody to participate, but then we would also look for some reimbursement to, you know, everybody share a little bit in the cost. Um, 
the repairs to the fence, I actually walked it today and I think I counted about eight or nine holes in the fence. I don't have an estimate on repairing that amount of chain link fencing, but it, it's not, uh, it won't be nominal, but it, it's not out of this world. Um, the 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 curveball that could come up in that is if we find trash or debris that rises to the level of um, hazardous waste, which then would create a much higher disposal cost. So that will be a uh, unknown as we get into the work. Um, and that cleanup includes everything outside the actual footprint of a tent or um, tarped enclosure uh, because those areas um, under both the CDC guidance and the Caltrans own um, cleanup standards are not to be relocated in the time of COVID um, absent a shelter, indoor shelter to put the folks in, which in this area we don't currently have. The project room key is actually winding up, so there's not the indoor shelter available. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, Mr. Director Helfer? Any other? Doug, Director yes. Nichols. Thank you, me. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. General Manager, do you recall if the Lang Creek Storm Detention Basin was built prior to or after the floods of 1998? I'm going to educated guess 80%, 85% sure it was after. The, the, the dam was created after. Okay, so it's would be fair to say it's unlikely that something to this event would like, I mean, to this degree that this event happened in 1998 would recur. Uh, not, yeah, not, not as a flood control expert, just. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes. I, I, I think that the dam would likely moderate the, the the amount of flow in the creek for sure. I, I, I guess my part of my hesitation is, you know, when a when a tree falls into a creek bed, I kind of all bets are off in terms of like, you know, could, yeah, no, a normal flow could still create a problem if a tree falls in the creek. Okay. So I just was curious because I remember walking through there, it, I didn't see anything else that seemed like it struck my attention as you know ongoing erosion and it just seemed like it was a, almost like a one-time event that that occurred. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then also I noticed in the lease that was provided that it included a statement that the park district was to have constructed a park by August 2nd, 1978. And the only, only caveat was that the lease may be terminated at the lessor's option if it wasn't. And it appears that those I didn't see any park out there, and I don't think any plans were ever prepared or submitted for a park. Is that correct? That, that's correct. A search of our, no, no one here recalls ever having, uh, you know, a park on that property. And we, in our records, were not able to find any plans submitted for a, a park. So as far as we know, the only recreational use there was the trail. Okay. Yeah. And I, I would say, uh, I think I first walked on that trail maybe 30 years ago. And with the overabundance of the native oaks in that in that area. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could build anything without having to eliminate a lot of oak trees. Uh, and I think it'd probably just best be left as, as a nice riparian oak woodland preservative open space. And that's about all that, that would be best for that area. So uh, yeah, I don't think we need to be building a park there and a trail at most. Uh, so yeah, I would just, uh, I concur that uh, don't need to build a park they want to keep us open space, that'd be fine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes. Any additional questions? Um, I, I've been through there on my bike, but maybe 20 years ago. And I just thought it was such a beautiful area with the oak trees and, and so forth that, uh, you know, it was really kind of breathtaking. Uh, so I'm glad to see that it has the potential of remaining natural as as is are there any other comments from board members or staff at this time if not i'll entertain a motion and as you know is this is a resolution who director huffer thank you sir All right i would like to move that we 
adopt resolution 072820-A to be read in title only, all future readings to be waived. Thank you. Second, Director Holt. Okay. If there are no further questions, if you could read that in title. Resolution number 072820-A, a resolution of the Board of Directors of the Conejo Recreation and Park District, determining that the Page Lane Porterville leased property is not necessary for park purposes and authorizing the general manager to terminate the lease agreement. Thank you. Any other comments or questions at this time? If not, we have a motion and we've had the reading. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Hearing none, that motion will pass. Concluding um, all new items, we're moving on to item six, items from the public. And John, has there been any public joining us? Okay. And uh, we're moving on to the final item of adjournment, item seven. Oh, yes. Sorry, General Manager. Sorry. And then just prior to adjournment, I did want to just, you know, for the record, especially since there might be a caller from hopefully Caltrans on the line, we, we uh, you know, appreciate Caltrans's um, uh, professionalism and communication with us uh, to date um, on this issue. Uh, staff has been sharing the information as we've uh, moved along. And our intent is to reach out to Caltrans and the surrounding property owners to try to coordinate something uh, all together before we do the handoff. So um, just a shout out and a thanks to Caltrans as we get ready to transition this property back to them. Very good. And I had this thought, but I forgot to uh, ask the question. Uh, approximately how long would the uh, cleanup uh, require? Just a few days. A few days? It's uh, right now, it's going to be more of a coordination and scheduling of the waste management contractor. And then if we can pull in other agencies, how much they want to do, maybe force labor or whether they just want to write a check kind of a thing. So, uh, so we have no intention of our staff being involved in the cleanup. More like in a coordinating role. Okay. Yes. Any other comments or questions? All right. Now, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>